Alright, what is up? What is going on? Let me apologize beforehand. There may be some coughing. There may be some pauses in my speaking because I may need to uh, drink some water. I've had a sore throat. I don't know why. Actually, I think I do know why. It's because I uh, I tried a new energy drink and I don't think it's agreeing with me very well. Like I've Ever since drinking it, I've just not felt well at all. And it did not feel good going down. So uh, I think that's what it was. But anyway, my throat is iffy. So I may need to, like I said, take some breaks. And I apologize for those beforehand. But so I also apologize for the fact this is going to be another one of them videos. Guilty. Uh, that is just, I'm not going to be playing any matches. I'm not even connected to PSN right now. I'm just going to go uh, look at things and discuss. And so basically the main thing that I'm looking at doing here is, um, well, I mean, finding the character. But what I'm going to talk about, just so if, for those of you that may not give a shit, you don't give a shit, you just get the hell on out of here right now but it's actually I finally I gotta I gotta I gotta give my props to work uh, I do a lot of driving around for work because I drive around between different stores that I go to and stuff and so obviously that doesn't take a significant amount of mental focus so it gives me plenty of time to myself and my thoughts and so certain things that I never really sat down to think about before start to gain some clarity and so I finally like recognized why I just can't get a feel a good like a good feeling with so many of the characters in this game and it's because so many of them have the same exact game plan and I don't mean you know obviously they all have different moves they all have different combos and stuff but when you boil them down to their simplistic game plan it's basically all the same now let me um that's what I'm gonna talk about and let me preface this by discussing Street Fighter now it's a simple fact of life that if you go on the message boards for anime games, for Mortal Kombat, or I guess not really Mortal Kombat, what is it, NetherRealm Studios games, uh, any other fighting games, there is pretty much always a small but rather vocal group of people that whenever Capcom is mentioned or they'll go out of their way to mention Capcom themselves and they will shit on it constantly. It's just what they do. And one of the most common arguments you see is how so many of their character slots are wasted. How they're all just clones of each other. And so obviously the Shoto clone is the big one. Now let's take the biggest three Shotos. Ryu, Ken, Akuma. Now you look at all of them. On a surface level, these are all extremely similar characters. They all have Hadoukens. They all have Shoryukens. They all have Tatsumaki Seppuka, sir, well, however the hell you pronounce that shit, I don't know, they all have the whirlwind kicks. Um, they share a lot of normals with each other, pretty much all of their crouching medium kicks are almost all exactly the same, most of their jabs are the same. Uh, Ryu and Ken both have that like wide sweeping right hook type move. Um, their, their overheads look so well Ken's overhead is a kick, so his isn't quite similar, but even Ryu still has a similar move, it's not a, it's not an overhead, but anyway. Um, so they share a lot of similarities with their movesets, however, when you actually look at how they play, how those movesets actually fit together, you see so much nuance to it that makes them completely different characters. Sure, they share the same moves, but with Ryu, you want to be patient, you want to be footsie-based, you want to control the neutral, control the space. Uh, he's 100% very much based around that aspect of gameplay. Whereas Ken is very much a pressure-based character. Um, uh, frame traps. Um, fucking, I, I don't know why I'm blanking on the all the fighting game terms. Tick throws. Uh, not tick throws. Kara throws. All that kind of thing. Like, he has an, um... That's basically kind of what he is. He's very heavily pressure-based and based upon frame traps. And, you know, you're either gonna get a frame trap or you're gonna get a Kara throw. Akuma very much mix-up based. He doesn't really have, I mean, he has very strong um, pressure, but he's very much a knockdown and then mix-you-up character and make you guess. That's how Akuma is. They all play extremely differently. There are similarities in there, but in general, they are very different with very different game plans that cater to a completely different t uh, type of people. These don't be, ah, uh, damn it. Alright, I had to take that, I apologize, but I'm not restarting. My throat, my throat, my throat hurts too much to restart a full four minutes of talking, so let's continue on. So basically I kind of finished my thought on Street Fighter. Um, and so you look at this game. Now let's just now I'm not even gonna look at the entire cast right now. 
let's just look at the top, the generally considered top five characters in the game. Uh, there was actually a recent tier list that, um, what's his name? Shit, he's a, he's a popular player. I think he used to go by Stun Edge. He goes by, like, Ho-Chan or something. I, I don't know if he used to live in America and he moved to Japan or if he lived in America for a certain amount of time. But I know he's pretty, uh, he's a pretty common and, uh, good translator over at Dust Loop. He tweeted a recent tier list that was apparently gathered between a bunch of high-level players. And aside from Leo, who they are, the jury's still out. Uh, with their opinion on Leo, their top five was Milia, Zato, Faust, Ramlethal, and Elfelt. Now you look at all five of those characters, the only one that doesn't fit a fairly specific mold is, uh, the only, actually the only two that don't really fit a fairly specific mold is Faust and Zato. And Faust is very much his own character, and I have to say, like, he is probably one of the most unique characters in this game. Uh, and I just kind of have to, you know, I hate the character. I hate fighting against him. It sucks, but he's a, he's designed very well and very uniquely. So I got to give props to that. Zato, on the other hand, very much can fall into this category, but he is very different outside of this one aspect of the game. Look at how many characters in this game. Their entire game plan boils down to run around in neutral until you get a hit, and then once you get a hit, throw a projectile that forces them to block for Oki, and then you run your mix-up. Milia, Ramlethal, and um, Elfelt, all three of them, very specifically meet that criteria. Zato kind of, because he has the drills, he has little Eddie. Um, he has the, the features to fit that mold, however, he is very much a, an entirely different monster when it comes to like neutral control and just zone control and all of that shit. So I don't really include him in that because he can do it, but that's not his game plan. It's just something that's available to him. Whereas all three of them, Milia, get a knockdown, do one of her fucking three different projectile moves that she can do, two, of, one of which requires meter and two of which she can do meterlessly, and then have an absolutely insane mix-up. Some of the most diverse mix-up options in the game, but nonetheless, that's her game plan. Ramlethal. Get a knockdown. Get corner carry, because as far as I'm aware, she pretty much gets corner carry on anything she hits. Set down her swords. Force people to block the projectile swords. Mix up. Insane pressure. Very good character. El Felt. Same exact thing. Get a knockdown. Throw a grenade. Run mix up off of the projectile. And now you look at the rest of the cast. Soul can do it. Kai can do it. Eno can do it. I have no fucking clue about Axel. I know jack shit about that character, except he uses some sickle-looking things. Venom can do it. Same thing with Bedman. I don't really know much about him, but I, I don't think he has that. So, out of this entire cast of, let me just do a quick cursory glance through here. That's 16 characters right there. 17 including Leo, and Leo's not really fall. He does have a projectile, but I don't... Actually, you know what he does? No, he's not really based around the projectile. He just has one, but it's not... It's definitely not. His game plan doesn't revolve around it. So out of these 16 characters right here, let's just say 17 because we're going to add Leo into that. Um, sh 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 Nine of them can fall into that mold. Actually, you know what? You can, add, you can also kind of add Faust into that. Get a knockdown, throw an item. It's the same thing, but it's obviously not guaranteed in any way what item you're going to get. So you can technically do 10. And then Faust and Zato are kind of off on their own little shenanigans over on the side, like, because they're, they're very much different rather than everybody else. But still, uh, Sol and Kai, very much based around that. Mei has a very inferior version of it in the beach ball, but she can do it. Um, Eno obviously is heavily based around that, doing, dropping that and then throwing in the high-low. Venom is very much based around that, dropping down the balls and then throwing those. And so, of the characters that are left, you have Sin, you have Chip, who I've said, if, if I had the time to dedicate to this game and to actually sit down and play it, Chip would 100% be the character I would pick. Potemkin, who I would pick if I was not absolutely terrible at doing the charge stuff. Like, he's so heavily dependent upon, like, frame, I don't know if it's frame perfect, 
but it's very goddamn difficult to consistently manage to do his whole, uh, the hammer break stuff with, like, perfect timing because one of the biggest things, obviously, with him is doing a 6K and a hammer break to do the loops and whatnot. It's very difficult. It's not an easy thing to do. Uh, another thing, like, he gets very strong combos off of doing something into, uh, 6HS, which generally will almost always get him a stun if you do the right combo, and then doing a hammer break cancel in there, too, and then doing something else you can actually do in the corner, uh, against an airborne opponent. You can, as far as I'm aware, I believe I've seen Fab do it, I'm not 100% sure, but you can do 6 Heavy Slash into hammer break into, uh, 2S, 6K, hammer break loop. He's so, and then just his neutral, his advancement options, they're so heavily dependent upon proper utilization of hammer fall into hammer break. It's for these. It's very difficult to do, but if I could pick, like, if I could just sit down and learn that within, like, 15, 20 minutes, I would absolutely do that. And I would pick Potemkin, and I would have no problems with that character. I understand his weaknesses. It's just he's so heavily dependent upon that one thing, which requires such precise knowledge of the timing that I cannot get down. Slayer, I've mentioned before, he just bores me. Axel is not my type of character. Bedman, not my type of character. So that ba so out of all of that stuff right there that I just discussed, all of the characters that I just don't care to play because they're so similar to everybody else that it's just you're doing the same thing regardless of who you pick. It's just dependent upon which buttons you press and which motions you do. Sin, Potemkin, Chip. Those are my three options in this entire game that do not like bore me to tears in general or I just like flat out don't like them and so I don't know like I am going to try uh, sin again when I have some time I don't want to make this video too long because like I said my voice I, I don't know if you're hearing it I kind of hear that it's already kind of going so I don't want to sit here and actually like try to use him and show him off and just do stuff with him on camera but I just wanted to let y'all know and this will hopefully be the last time I have a video like this like from now on if I'm going to pick this up I'm going to play it I do have some ideas uh, for what to do like I don't know why I've never done something like uh, what I might do I don't know why I've never done it before but just in case I don't end up doing it or I don't end up liking it then I will not I'm just not gonna say anything because I know I don't want to get hopes up and then not end up doing anything with it but I do have some plans to hopefully have more consistent content um, but it all it's just it completely all depends upon whether or not I can either uh, sit down and finally play either Chip or Potemkin, or whether or not I can kind of, because the only reason I really didn't feel this character at first was just because, hey, I got other characters I'm interested in, and I'm not really feeling the whole eating stuff, because you're basically giving up pressure and Oki in order to eat every single time, but now it's kind of like, okay, he's, I don't really have many other options now, so maybe let's try it again. So I will try him again, I will give him a, uh, a real effort, but I just wanted to let y'all know, like, I finally put it into words and 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 I'm just I guess kind of I don't know I don't know but that's that exp hopefully that explains why I have been the way I have been in regard to you know trying to find a character and just failing spectacularly that, that explains it a little bit and you understand where I am coming from and and we can move forward into a glorious future together of maybe potentially finally learning somebody and for me to stop bitching that'll never happen that's that's just an unrealistic standard that we'll never live up to all right bye